Happy New Year to you all. Europe is in trouble times and it's easy to lose hope, but I see a lot of opportunity out there. If we know how to capture it, let me set out my vision for Europe, a continent that is connected, open and secure. First, Europe needs to be connected, where Europeans can enjoy fast broadband at home, at work and wherever they roam, with fast, pervasive networks, fixed, mobile, Wi-Fi, with a strong sector able to invest and innovate, able to serve a dynamic and demanding population, not facing borders and barriers. Telcos will ultimately prosper not by charging sky-high prices for roaming or calling across borders, but offering fair deals, quality seamless services and the innovative offers people will crave and value. Second, Europe needs to be open because it is only then that we unleash the Internet's full potential. New EU rules will unlock the benefits of public open data, ensuring transparency and innovation for a market worth tens of billions of euros a year. Under its next funding program, all EU-funded scientific publications will be open access, helping scientists, citizens and society. And I want every European, for the first time ever, to enjoy the guarantee of access to the open internet without operators unfairly blocking competing apps or services. And third, Europe needs to be secure. This year we have been rocked by revelations of online spying. They are shocking and unacceptable. But outrage isn't enough. We need to act. I reckon spying is probably the world's second oldest profession and we are not going to stop it just by complaining nor by legislation to make it illegal. So let's not be naive, let's protect ourselves and rebuild trust. When you buy cloud services, you should know exactly what will happen to your data, who can access it, why and whether it could ever leave the EU. When you trust your data to others, governments or those who run critical infrastructure, you should know they are legally obliged to manage cyber risks and protect system resilience. And new proposed EU laws would ensure that. And when you want to protect yourself, you should benefit from the innovations of a vibrant European market to do so. And that is just one thing the EU's research and innovation program can deliver. There are many things that are uncertain about the future. But it is clear to me that the future lies online for so many areas of life. If we want European leadership, European competitiveness or a bright European future in any area, we need a continent prepared for the digital age. And that is my vision for Europe. Europe's leaders have recognized the large and growing role digital plays in our economy. And they have supported our plans to bring down the barriers that stand in the way. 2014 could be the year when MEPs and national ministers agree to make that happen. To create a co connected continent. To ensure resilient and secure networks and systems. To adapt to the benefits of a new open era. To prevent unfair blocking of online services and to make roaming surcharges in Europe a thing of the past. I hope they commit to do so. That would be a great New Year's resolution.